Hello everyone, it's Visit23 here. Oh, sorry if I sound a bit tired, but I had a bit of a bad sleep last night and the day, night before that. <laughs> but uh, it's time to read a story again, because daily stories or whatever. And today it's Silver Girl's story. Okay, Silver Girl may be the biggest brat in the history, but if we look at her life, we might get close to why. She was named Selena Silver. This was a big name to carry, for her family was one of Britain's most wealthy. All her life she was told that she was wonderful and perfect. One day she liked to see if she was perfect even when she was bad. So she punched one of the waiters at dinner. She was at this time only seven, but she hit pretty hard and fast. She expected her parents to say she did it perfectly, like with all other things, but they didn't. They took a while instead of instantly, like otherwise. But they didn't yell at her. They only took a while until they complimented her. And so the years passed and Selena kept on la laughing. But sh when she turned 14 it was high time to, time to get her a husband according to her parents. She wasn't after, she was after all the only child in a family and the family had to keep on. But she did not like that idea. She started to fight with them, and one day she got an up. She was now 17 and a pretty young girl. The long blonde hair was something all men wanted. But she was now about to do something that would change her forever. She went to a ba the bank that her family kept all their money and relics in. And she took out a small silver knife with a symbol on the hilt. Symbol depicted a snake that lay on a blood vein. Snake bit into the into a ruby. In into it, and rubies made up a string of blood. The knife was an old family relic. It was also the most feared we feared weapon they kept. Uh, because the knife could, in the hands of a lady born into the silver family be used at any distance. Selen Selenia simply had to smile at a young man and then cut in the air in front of her. As long as the victim had seen her smile, he would get hit. But it came with a high cost. Once she had cut it with it, she had to cut someone at least every month. She would need warm and fresh bl human blood to stay alive. But she didn't care. She didn't mind that her light blue eyes would turn red, or that her snow white eye whites would turn black. These things would only stay for a short time. She didn't mind that she would kill people. She had planned it well. She would use the speed she had trained up over the past years, and she would hide the knife in her arm folds. She after that killed her father, then her mother, and slowly all the workers. She got a taste for blood and young men, and developed a way to attract them even better. She lived well for three years. She had money as well, but later she had to leave. She didn't have more money. She had to hunt. She had to run. But when she started to feel sad about her parents, she pushed it aside. Thus she pushed aside more and more of her empathy. Until it was almost all gone. Now she's still out there. Never returning. But always searching for new young men. That she can cut and use the blood from. Written the 22 in 11 in 2014. Thank you for listening. Uh, once again my own story. Uh, it was suggested once again by Lady Leave. Thanks so much for helping me 
And also, I want you to please listen to this because I have an idea on how you may be able to fix your problem with the name policy of Google+. Plus. If you try every single day, try to skip trying for a week or something, maybe this will unlock the name policy. It will maybe have a way that it bugs out then. You don't notice it. Just try, please. Try to not trying to change your name for a week or something. Trust me, I, it can work and I please don't reset your account because it would reset those RPs and it's so much good stuff will be lost and basically my entry into Google Plus will be lost. But without furthermore, I uh, want to give out this small information. I am planning to do a contest where you all will be able to compete in um, well, a little contest and I will choose the winner at the end of the week. Tell me what you think. Bye!